A lot of you know, as you're tired of hearing, that I was born in West Virginia. I lived there for three years of my life. And when I was born, my father was a logger, and my mother was a stay-at-home mom. And dad's dad was a railroader, and mom's dad was an assembly line worker for General Motors. And so we came from a very blue-collar family. And if you need an idea of what dad did as a logger, go home and maybe watch Axman. The technology's a little more advanced now, but it's pretty much the same. Dad drove those big trucks like you see in Transformers, Optimus Prime, kind of like that. And you guys that can see are asking the important question, you're saying, but Trevor, is your dad no Optimus Prime? <laughs> But neither one of my parents had a college education. And if you know West Virginia, the economy is a blue collar economy. There's logging, there's coal mining, and there's railroading. All great trades. They're good people, they're kind people, they work hard. My parents saw those opportunities and they dreamed of different opportunities. My dad wanted to become a pilot. And so we decided to leave everything my parents knew, having lived in West Virginia for all of their lives. My dad was born there and raised there. Mom was there from adolescence and until so they got married. And we left there. We went to Arizona. And my dad began to pursue his pilot's license and go to aeronautical school. And since he was going to school full time, mom had to get a job, in addition to being a mother, right? And she began to work at an eye care clinic for minimum wage. And she eventually started to work as a custodian on Fridays at a different doctor's office to make a little money, a little extra money. And then dad got a job student teaching. So that helped out. And dad began to fly for a gentleman who lived in Texas. And that gentleman was a doctor who owned a plastics manufacturing company. One thing led to another. And Dad became the head of that company, which meant that we had to leave Arizona and we came here. So Dad completed his college degree. He got his pilot's license, and we were in Texas. It was Mom's turn to go for her dream. Now, she was working, again, in a medical setting. When we came here, she was working at a doctor's office. And as she grew in her career and got promotions, she changed offices, and sometimes they changed ownership and what have you. She started her college degree around the time I was in middle school. And I graduated from college in about 2010. To give you an idea of how long it took her, she started when I was in middle school and she finished a year after me. Now I want you to look at the contrast. When I was born, neither one of my parents had the college degree. But then I was able to go in what's considered the standard time nowadays and knock it out because of the hard work and the choices that they made. They weren't always easy, but they made the right choices.